Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Mad Scientist. I released a new version of the credit card search tool I built for travel hacking, and that can be found at cards.madfiantist.com. And I figured I'd put together a short little video running through everything. So if you've used the tool before, you know that the top contains the filter. And if you don't select anything up here, you're automatically presented with the most valuable sign-up bonuses currently available. And they're sorted in reverse order. So the most valuable one is up at the top. And something to change in this recent version is that I've added estimated value. So you can now see the estimated value of that signup bonus based on the Points Guys valuations. And the Points Guy is a travel blogger that releases monthly valuations of each different type of mile and point available. So you can see here that the most valuable card currently available is the Ink Business Preferred. And since ultimate reward points are valued at two cents per point, the estimated value of this sign-up bonus is $2,000, which is pretty amazing. So let's go back up to the filter here and you can see the real power of this application. So let's say that you wanted to earn British Airways miles. So you could click here and it will automatically add this new column and it'll show you the exact number of BA miles you could get from this sign-up bonus. And where this is really powerful is if you were unaware of the transfers between programs, you would think that maybe this is the only card you could get because this is actually the only card that earns uh, British Airways miles. But in reality, you could take any of these other cards and in fact, it would probably be better to do so because you could only earn 50,000 miles for this card, but if you got the Ink Business Preferred, you could earn double that. And that's because Chase Ultimate Reward Points transfer to uh, Avios at a at a one-to-one -one ratio. So the reason this tool is so useful is because it stores all of these different transfer ratios between the programs. So you can see that Ultimate Rewards transfer to BA at one-to-one -one ratio, and so do Amex Membership Rewards. Uh, but if you go down, you can also see that Marriott also does, but at a very different ratio. So rather than keep track of which programs can transfer to which, uh, the tool does that for you. So all you have to do is select the actual airline you want to earn miles in. And it also does the same for hotels. So let's say that we actually wanted to get one card and potentially use some of the points for both airline miles and hotel stays so that we could potentially get one card and have maybe a whole free holiday. So as you can see, it added a new Hyatt column when I clicked that button. And we can see that, okay, yeah, we shouldn't get the BA card because that obviously is just going to go to BA miles, but maybe we should get a Chase card because that transfers to both BA and Hyatt. So if we got this one, we could potentially use 50,000 miles for the flight and then 50,000 hotel points for the hotel. So since that looks like a good option, we can go over here and we can hover over this and we can see, okay, yeah, it's a Chase business card and it has a foreign transaction fee of 0%, which is great since we're wanting to go abroad. It's a business card and it's also one of the top picks. And we can hover over this and we can see what the spending requirement is, which is also shown here. So this one requires me to spend $15,000 in three months, which may be a bit much. So let's uh, scroll down a little bit more. And actually this one looks better because it's half the spending requirement and it'll still get me 75,000 ultimate reward points. So that may be a good option. And I can click here to apply now if I decide to go with it. And the other important thing is annual fee. So this one actually looks really good because it has a $0 annual fee. So I could keep this one forever and not have to pay any money to do so. So if we wanted to go up and actually filter based on that, we could say, okay, let's just filter out so that we only have cards with no annual fee. Or if we wanted to instead just do one with no first year fee, if we're just going to try it out for a year and see how it goes. Uh, also, we can filter out by 0% transaction foreign fee. So we can see that that filters it down and maybe the Marriott card is going to be the best option in this case. Uh, we can reset and that'll take us back to the start. And if we say, actually, I don't have a business, so maybe I'll filter for personal cards. And I just want to see the top offers currently available. And that would give us this list. Or maybe I don't have a particular trip in mind. So rather than pick an airline or hotel, I just want to earn Amex points, which then I could transfer to different hotels when I actually decide. Or maybe I just want to have no points at all and I just want to go ahead and get cashback card and that'll make things even easier because then it's just a cashback or a statement credit or something like that. 
So as you can see, it's really powerful for finding the exact right card for you. And if you have any suggestions on how to improve it anymore, obviously just send me an email, but I think that's everything. So I hope you find it useful.